Hey kiddo, um, this is going to be fairly easy. Um, I'm sorry I'm going to be there for the first time that you do this, but I thought I'd put together this quick video so you've got a fairly good idea of what to do. Now, I always hoped I would be there to see you shave for the first time, um, but I'm sorry kiddo, I can't be. So I'm hoping this is a little bit of a substitute for you and we can get through this together. Now, in a couple of days you'll be getting your Dollar Save Club kit, you'll be having a razor in it, it will have a couple of items as well, this is what's called shave butter, and Dr. Carver's Magnolia's Pulse Shave, okay? So we're just going to step through the step-by-steps -step that I take to have a shave, and hopefully if you follow along, your first shave will go absolutely no problem whatsoever, and you'll be pretty good to go. Now the first thing is fill a basin full of water and wash your face. When I wash my face, I use a oil fee daily face wash because you've got to be careful with your pores and stuff plus it keep, keeps your skin nice and moisturized so you don't get old and craggy looking like what I do right now so first thing to this is wash your face Now, other people get <sighs> shaving in the shower, that kind of thing. I prefer to do it in front of this uh, the basin with the uh, mirror in front of me. It's really going to come down to your preference. Play around, have some fun with it. Now, I'm nice and uh, washed. That means, it means the hair follicles up, makes it easy for you to shave. Now, using the shave butter here, you put a little dab of dubo on our fingers. Not much, be about that much. And you take it and you apply to all the areas that you want to shave. Now, this is a little bit different than your regular shaving foam because it doesn't really colour up where you want to go. So keep an eye on what you're doing and where you put it. All it's really doing is making the surface easier for your blade to go over. Okay, I think I'm all shea buttered up there. Next up, you take your, you take your handle. This is your handle here. There's your blades. Okay. Let's see if we can get this right. There we go. Do it this way. And you basically insert. There we go. Like so. Get a positive lock. Pull out. And your blade is free. Uh, pretty much works for all, all types of razors, but this is how this one works. This one here. Then soak your blade in water. And shave. Now, I shave downwards. Some people shave upwards. I prefer to shave down. What I found if you shave down is you don't get ingrown hairs and your stubble goes in a certain direction and doesn't scratch the ladies when you kiss them. Now every time you do a stroke, wet the end of your blade, move it down your face, wet, move it down your face, wet, move it down your face, and wet. Yeah, you guys, see, I've got some hair in my way here, so I've got the uh, lovely sideburns going here and the amazing goatee of doom. So I'm shaving around, unless you can see. And there we go. So down like so, down like so. Just follow around. Make sure you get the majority of the areas. If you're good to go, you're good to go. Insert your blade one more time, so it's nice and clean like this. There you go. Dry yourself down with a towel, like this. And you're pretty much almost good to go. So the last thing you need to do now is add a little post shave because you're young and your skin's going to freak out if you don't. Now, uh, I use this. Uh, this is the uh, Dr. Carver's Magnamious Post Shave. It's actually really good. You can also use Any Man Jack or basically uh, the Gillette Shaving After Shave Gel. That works really well as well. So plonk it on your fingers. Because basically what it is is just a glorified moisturiser. Ball it up and apply it to all the areas that you've just shaved. Like so. 
that helps close up, helps moisturize up the pores it means you don't get a shaving heat rash so that's how I shave I'm sure you're gonna do it a little bit different with me uh, you're still young yet so I doubt you're gonna need to shave every day as yet and I don't think you're gonna shave need, need to change your razor blade every week either it's probably gonna last you a couple of months until you start going some hardcore stubble like me again I am really sorry kid although I'm not there to see you shave for the first time Hoping this video helps you out a little bit. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, I love you, and uh, hope to see, see you soon, eh? Oh, and by the way, when you come back, when you come back over to my house, you're not taking my saving crap. Okay, love you, kiddo. Bye bye.